Welcome to GeoSphere's video on personal notes. A personal note is merely a place for you to store your notes about a particular cache. The note is attached to a cache and is accessed when you are viewing the details about that cache. For this cache, the personal note row is dim, indicating I do not yet have a personal note. Merely select the row to start entering your personal note. Items you might want to consider storing in a personal note include Let's say you received a hint from a fellow geocacher. Or maybe the cache involved calculating a final coordinate and you want to save that coordinate. Some cachers like to store details on where they found the cache for future reference. These are all good reasons to create a personal note. Now this screen shows us two interesting aspects of personal notes. The first is that personal notes are uploaded to the geocaching.com website in the same manner as field notes. For this video, my settings indicate that all uploads are to be initiated manually, and that is why the status is indicating that it is ready to upload. In fact, let's go over to Notes and Logs task and see the same personal note. You can use the Action button to manually initiate the upload. However, unlike field notes, synchronizing can occur in both directions. In other words, if you access or import a cache online that has a personal note you previously created, then that personal note will also be loaded into Geosphere. Now we can start to see some of the advantages of personal notes. Namely, they are stored in your online geocaching.com account, which means they are backed up. You can access them from any app that supports personal notes, not just Geosphere. And if you are a geocaching.com premium member, then they let you view and edit the notes from their website. Back to our personal note. The other item I thought was worth pointing out was that whenever Geosphere detects a coordinate in a personal note, field note, log, or description, then it will convert it into a link to make it easy for you to use that coordinate. In this case, when we select the link, we are given the option to copy the coordinate, set the cache location, or to create a related waypoint using that coordinate. I'll set the cache location. We can see that a coordinate is now displayed in red, indicating it has been changed from its original published value. And in case any of you are wondering, what if I need to restore the published value? Well, Geosphere saves that value too. You can restore it by editing the coordinate, which I'll do by using the double tap shortcut. Then just select the published value, restore, Save. So hopefully this helps demonstrate that a personal note is a convenient location to store coordinates. One last item you might find helpful. If you had been using Geosphere's field notes to store information about caches, that is, information that was not part of your log entries, and you want to convert to personal notes, you can copy and paste the text, but there is an easier option. For field notes, which are of type note, under the action button will be an option to convert it to a personal note. This will accomplish the conversion in one simple step. Well, I hope this video has helped you think about how you can better utilize personal notes.